off the top at six, we continue working major breaking news. A large crane has fallen on a bridge in Fort Lauderdale. At least one person was killed. Local tennis Roy Ramos was nearby. When it happened, is live on the scene with the latest Roy. Louie and Nicole, since we last spoke with you about half an hour ago, we've been able to gather more information from Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue, who has explained how this all happened. And I want to take you to the top of this building, more importantly, to the top of that crane. And you can see all of that damage right there done to the scaffolding. We're told that the operator was in the process of hoisting a piece of that crane to the top of the building that you're looking at right there and attempting to place it on part of that scaffolding when that piece of crane came crashing down. In fact, along the side of that building right there, you can probably see a lot of damage uh, to that skirting to several balconies where that piece of crane crashed before ultimately coming down on Southeast Third Avenue and crashing on to two vehicles. I want to take you to Sky 10 right now to show you that unfortunately we have just learned a construction worker who was out here working on this building has unfortunately lost his life. Let's take you to this piece of video on the bridge that involved both of those vehicles that were hit by pieces of this crane. And remarkably, the two people who were inside of those cars walked out of those vehicles. We're told that one of them did suffer some minor injuries, but fortunately, they are expected to be just fine. Now, just a few moments ago, we did get a chance to hear uh, from a witness who came out just moments after hearing and feeling this impact. Take a listen to what they told me. We were crossing on the other bridge and we saw a big piece of the blue crane falling through the sky and then we heard it hit something. What did it feel like? It was crazy. It was, yeah. it it was, was so hit. loud. It was an open intersection with vehicles passing both north and southbound lanes. Um, our crews immediately went to work stabilizing the area, stabilizing the rest of the building and evacuating the area to make sure the scene was safe. Uh, we then went floor by floor of the building to make sure all of the workers on the building were safe uh, and to make sure everyone was accountable. Unfortunately, one of the workers uh, was uh, had fallen with the, the load off of the side of the building and sir came to those injuries. And as you heard right there, that uh, construction worker unfortunately did lose his life. Just moments after this impact, we could uh, feel the ground shake. We saw several of those construction workers come out on the balcony and look down to see uh, what exactly happened here. And unfortunately, seeing the body of their coworker on the ground right there. As you can imagine, this ca did cause a lot of concern for people in this area. Several of them immediately calling 911. We just heard those dispatch calls. Let's take a listen. I've got a crane that collapsed on top of the bridge. There's like one vehicle involved. Nobody else come up on this bridge because the stuff on the crane is dangling. Everybody stay off the bridge. Yeah. Okay. And as we come back out loud of the damage of that bridge right there, I can tell you that traffic along Southeast Third Avenue on that bridge has been shut down in both the north and southbound lanes. This is also affecting traffic on the waterways. I can tell you that the U.S. Coast Guard is out here along with Fort Lauderdale Police and Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue not letting anyone go underneath or over that bridge at this time. Obviously, the structural integrity of that bridge is in question as this heavy piece of equipment came crashing down on that overpass. As we gather more information, more importantly, who that construction worker is, we will be sure to let you know. For now, here in Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos. Local 10 News. Roy, just an awful, awful accident. It is incredible that the people walked out of the cars that were hit when that fell. Roy, can you just go over in that news conference we heard, they mentioned it was a platform holding equipment that failed. So from what we can see on the bridge, it looks like part of the crane. Can you just explain again what they're referring to when they say the platform fell that caused this collapse? So my photographer Donnie Dallas has just tilted the camera as high as he can go there so you can see the top of that crane right there. Now you'll notice the majority of that crane is blue. At the top you can see that there is a section that is in red. Surrounding that section there is some scaffolding and you probably notice that a piece of that scaffolding right there is damaged. It's, it's kind of tilted downward. Now I spoke with a witness here who described to me seeing this crane hoist up a piece of that crane and try to place it on that platform, believe it or not. And he was trying to, to figure out what exactly was going on and why they would be doing that. 
He says just moments later, he saw that crashing down. That's exactly what Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue described happened out here. This crane was attempting to hoist a piece of that uh, crane to the top there when it uh, was going to set it on that scaffolding. That is when it came crashing down. I hope that gives you a better understanding of how this happened here. And, you know, it, it, it kind of seems uh, strange that that is, is how this all occurred. In fact, I was speaking to several witnesses out here a short time ago who were kind of speculating how this could have all occurred. And we were thinking that maybe, you know, a portion of that uh, crane was uh, assembled on the fifth floor because we're also seeing some damage there as well. Um, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It seems to be that this was just a small portion that ended up com coming crashing down right on the top of the southeast. 3rd Avenue Bridge as vehicles were passing. And another thing I want to mention is when we heard uh, from the Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue Chief, he, he said it, it's remarkable uh, that no one else was injured because people constantly cross this bridge on foot and in their vehicles as well. Yeah, I just want to underscore that. Just incredible, especially the timing of this. Uh, just after 4.30 in the afternoon on a very busy artery in the heart of Fort Lauderdale. So we see some residential buildings around that area. A lot of construction, but also people already live in this area. We know that the construction sites have been shut down. Are the residents of that area going to be allowed to return back to their homes tonight? Do you have any sense as to when uh, the residents will be able to go back home? Well, I can tell you that uh, the, the building that's in question is obviously under construction, so there's no one that lives in the building right here. Um, the building just west of that, uh, you can see people standing on their balconies right there. So uh, other than being able to get to their buildings, because there are several road closures here in this area, uh, it appears uh, that the buildings surrounding this area are allowing residents back in. In fact, you could probably see, uh, Donnie, if we pan the camera this way, you could probably see several people coming out of their homes right here just to see what was going on. And they've been coming out of the building that's right here behind us. So uh, that obviously not affected as well. Um, but fortunately, you know, there weren't people living or working out of the building that's under construction because uh, we can only imagine how catastrophic that would have been. Yeah, we just wanted to get a scope as to how wide this perimeter was. Obviously, you know, this fell from at least, it sounds like 15 stories high, at least this crane was, if not longer, and we saw the impact it made to the roadway, so we didn't know how big of an area was impacted by what had happened today. Right now, it, yeah, it seems to be focused uh, majorly on that bridge uh, that uh, we see all of the damage right there. That, that seems to be the only piece of um, roadway that, that kind of travels through this area right here. But for the most part, yeah, uh, fortunately, it didn't crash onto any other, other buildings uh, that, that, that do surround this area. Louis. Uh, Roy, uh, we know that traffic is being impacted. We're going to check in with Janice in a minute uh, as far as delays and alternates and road closures and to that nature. But we spoke to you at five also about boat traffic and the impact this is having on the boats. Uh, is there any update for the people who are watching? Yeah, absolutely, Nicole, and thank you for bringing that up. Uh, you could probably see Fort Lauderdale Police right there, Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue off in the distance, and we've also seen the U.S. Coast Guard going up and down the new river right here. Uh, we've seen them turn several boats away, so no boats being allowed to go under this bridge. As, as I mentioned before, the structural integrity of the bridge is really in question. It, it, it's unsure, really, if it's safe to be traveling over or under this bridge at this time, and for that reason, no, they're not letting any vessels uh, travel through this waterway in this area. So again, the New River closed in both directions, also Southeast Third Avenue closed, uh, especially that section of the bridge right there. Uh